back to like, you know, starting off with, with the All-Stars, you know, how did all that start? Uh, with, with myself? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, as you saw in the video that you, that you played, um, I was solo um, about, I'd say about 11, 11 years ago or so. I moved, I, moved, I relocated from Michigan um, to Texas and I, I, you know, was doing my thing solo. Um, I won some awards, released some albums with with uh, with my old my old uh, promotion team, Starboy Entertainment. Shout out to those guys. Um, we all moved here together, man. It just packed up packed up our bags and you know just just went for wow. it. You know, and, and me for myself personally, um, you know, going back to you know to high school and childhood. I, I mean, I, I followed certain artists. Um, obviously, Selena was one of them. She was uh, you know one of my uh, you know, inspirations as an artist. Um, obviously, I, I, you know, after everything that happened, I followed AB and the Cumbia Kings, and I used to watch up north from Michigan. And with my style, um, you know, me and my background, I was one of the few, um, you know, as a Latino, as a, as a Mexican, I was a minority up there, you know, in my school. And I would always be the be the one singing R and B. You know, I can you know trying to prove I can sing R and B too, or I can do certain things, whether it's hoop or play football. You know, I, I, I was I was in the Joneses. You know what I mean? So I, I would I would watch the Cumbia Kings down here in Texas. You know, doing what they're doing, and I'm like, man, that's awesome. You know, seeing seeing you know people that look like me, spoke like me, walk like me, talk like me, doing the things in, in music. And I always I was wondered or, or, or wanted you know goal of mine was to to somehow find a way to work with ab you know um and for, fast forward you know to now um you know one of my goal was to get his attention right um and when i won the awards the the best new male artist at the tmas and then following year i won male vocalist of the year um I had a I had a celebration party and uh, AB showed up um, with him, Chris, and uh, a few nice. other people and and it's it's a funny story because AB had said he, he came to uh, to size me up to see if I was humble <laughs> or to see if I was going to be a you know big shot in my, you know like a big shot right in my head you know what I mean and and you know he came in we showed him love you know we, we gave him the VIP booth went over there and you know, I, I just showed him respect showed him love and that's when it started when he basically was just going to start producing for me. And uh, that was the first step. Um, so we did, I don't know if you saw the video I sent you, Esperando Te. Um, that was the first song that he produced for me uh, alongside Gilbert Velasquez. Um, AB came in from Corpus, produced, the song went well, we released it. And then after that, he had uh, something happened with his singer. And, um, you know, some things are going on with the label that I was working with. You know, I was kind of in a standstill. So timing... It, it kind of happened and it linked up and yet he, he said, Hey, look, you know, I need a singer, you know, you're, you're, you're at where you're at. I can help you out. We can kind of help each other out. It was supposed to be temporary. And I joined up with the Cumbia All-Stars for a few shows and it fast forward five, six years later, I'm, I'm still rocking with these wow, guys. Wow, so dude. It's, it, it, it's been an honor, man. And, and I'm, I'm, uh, I was able to get his attention and, and follow through with, with my goal. And with one of my dreams was to work, you know, with AB and the Cumbia Kings and, and um, you know, just be part of part of you know what they have going. You know, it's a long history. It is, uh, man. So it is I'm, a long I'm history. I'm always honored to, to share the stage and be on the stage with these guys. So. Party people, party people, come on! Party people, party.